Okay. Get a sauce rerun. Artichoke dip. Artichoke dip. I forgot to check and see how much the uh the truffle oil was worth. Darn it, I knew we were forgetting something. And I got a letter. So did I. Dear Dave, everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago on the community center bulletin. <gasps> and the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. Mayor Lewis. Oh, okay, good. So we... oh I learned how to cook spaghetti because uh, Lewis gave me the recipe for spaghetti. Oh god, I got another oh, cool. one. Hey, I found the... It's in a drawer somewhere. I thought you would like it. Pam. She gave me beer. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> of course she did. Uh, like, I, here, I found this in a drawer somewhere. Have it. Just a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Oh, God. Good morning, Miss Tandy, says Marnie. I came by to ask you a favor, since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention oh, God. to me unless I have a favorite treat cave carrots. But... Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Dave. <laughs> I came by Is to ask- Marnie? Yes. Since you're mm. such a- Is to say hello, but they simply- They have cave yeah. carrots. Yeah. Yeah. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you could bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9am and 5pm with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye. I think we have a cave carrot in my fridge. I got rid of all my cave carrots because they turned them into miner's delight or whatever. Or some food. Yeah, let me see. Corn! Yeah, I've got one cave carrot. Damn. Also, I've got an apple, which... Do you want to turn that into wine or something? Uh, yeah, we can we can save it and make it like I don't know apple sauce or apple wine or some something like that. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh fuck. Guess I'll go take care of the animals first. I'll head to the mine to see if I can find a cave carrot. Okay. Come here, chickens and cows. Give me your milk. Wait, who do I have to give the apricot to? Um, fuck. Emily. She's the blue-haired girl in one of the houses down to the south of town. She lives with Haley? I don't know if you know any of these names. <laughs> Eggs. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Close the damn door. There we go. Reap. That's blackberry. I'm getting a cutscene. Hey. Question mark. Oh, Dave, you you're wondering what a, what's that what that good smell is? Why? No. That's nice of you to say. I'm actually baking a my famous cake, my famous cookies, cookies. Is here. Why don't you try one? Jesus Christ, dude, you have 74 salmon berries. I know. <laughs> well, what do you think? It's delicious. It's like chewing on a hockey puck. Thank you. Yup. I think I've come to know you very well. You well enough to give you my recipe. Just make sure you keep it a secret. Learn how to make cookies. Yay, cookies. Oh. Up. Are you getting this cutscene now, too? <laughs> yep, considering that we both went- oh. 
Yeah, I just went to town, so I guess it was waiting on the host. Throw a party! Hey! And none of them helped. <laughs> no, it was just me and you. I like that Willie's at the fish tank and Col Col Clive? What's his name? Cliff? I don't fucking know. Oh, it's just you, there. not me. Right. Yeah, you're not welcome here. I'm not sure how you did it, Dave, but the community center has never looked better. This is Tandy. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. Kitty cat face. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Oh, local legend. Achievement unlocked. You received the Sardu Hero Trophy. Voice, grumble, grumble. Who's that? It's the dude we never talked to. <laughs> Morris, <laughs> sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? Uh, Morris. You can't actually become friends with this guy. No, because he's a douche. What? <laughs> face. Yeah. All my customers here! This isn't good. How does it feel? Let's be reasonable. Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Which one do you want? Let's be reasonable. Okay, we won't be dickheads. Humph. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No, not this time. Gather, Gather around. around, everyone! <laughs> Are we gonna freaking deck him? What's happening? It's like a fight club. Fight, fight, fight. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen, remember? The good old days. Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. It- it was a lot of fun, sad face. Willie. Me? Me? <laughs> Remember when your little crab experiment got out of hand? And everybody got crabs? <laughs> <laughs> that I do. We showed up one morning and the place was crawling with them. But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea. A crab leg feast for the entire valley. I still dream of that garlic butter. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you see, everyone, our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When Joja Mart came to town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Dave, we have a second chance. No, it's just ask... Candy, not <laughs> Dave. Because I'm not I'm there. Ask... What, are you... what are you doing? I'm You're not like even outside. here. I'm not even in the building. I'm nowhere. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> You're in the cave looking for carrots. <laughs> yes. I'm asking that you join me in boycotting Joja Mart. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. Ugh. Who's with me? Silence. I've lived here too long to see this town go to ruin. You can count me in. I got okay. me too. No more Georgia. It's about time. I'm done for. Yeah. We did it. We defeated capitalism. <laughs> With more capitalism. <laughs> Morris and his Jojo Mart cronies were never heard from again. Uh, because there's still a market. Oh god. Is there? That was what I was just gonna run over and see. Oh god, it got so late. I'm invisible! Oh no. Can you go into a building? I'm in a building. I can't get out. What building are you in? I don't know. I don't even know where I am. I'm gonna have to exit. Out of business. Okay, yeah. Georgia Mart is closed. Exit to title. 
Yeah, and then hop back in. Yeah, because I, I just, I vanished. <laughs> I pulled a hoodie. To the void. I was sent to the Shadow Realm. I'm in bed. Huh. Well, I guess that's where you log back in at every time you play, so yeah. Alright, so... I'm coming back to the house, because it's late anyways. I think I'm gonna grab our cheese and our mayonnaise, and then... That could be the end of the day. Have you actually gone into the shed yet? Yes, I have. I popped in there briefly and then popped back out. Okay. Okay, I got all of our shit. Go and sell this crap. And I guess we can go put our trophies on our mantle places or something. I think I might have freaked out because I was dumped into a cutscene and then dumped directly into another cutscene before I could f technically fully load. Yeah, that could be. Because I got the trophy. Yeah, you did. Because you got the achievement and everything. And I didn't know that uh, that cutscene was going to happen, otherwise I wouldn't have walked into town, but... Yeah, you kind of had to. Yeah. Not my friend. There we go. Oh, I've got another oil to sell. Oh, yeah, and I still have that cave carrot. That's what I went to town for. I wanted to give her the freaking cave carrot. <sighs> okay. I accidentally picked up my bed. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Hit the cat. Go to bed. Alright, so I guess this episode might be a bit shorter. Why? We still have ten minutes left. We can no. do another day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. I forgot to see how much uh, the oil was worth. Oh, I can check. Um, It's a thousand apiece. I think truffles were about 500 each. Maybe? I don't remember. I can always Google it, but I'm lazy right now. Okay, good. Okay. Everything's working again. Yes. Oh, I got another letter. Same here. Getting a lot of letters. I've unlocked the back room of the shop. Come by when you have a chance. There's something I want to show you. Willie. Got another letter. Figured I'd give you this recipe I had laying around. Try not to burn it. George, I learned fried eel. Fried eel. I've got another one. <gasps> this recipe of mine was won first place in a cooking competition. I hope you like it. Thanks for being a friend, Jody. Fried calamari. Oh my god. <laughs> Algae soup from Clint. Spaghetti from Lewis. Blueberry tart from Pierre. Oh my, oh my god. god. Parsnip soup from Caroline. Oh my god, I've gotten even more because I'm friends with more people. Probably fried mushroom from Demetrius. Fish taco from Linus. Oh my god. Barney gave me pale broth. Advertisement. Pierce General Store is now open seven days a week. Yeah! Yay. Give me that apple. Are you holding beer? Yes. Okay, so the way I'm trying to set it up is to give us walking space on both the top and the bottom, so don't go all the way up, because we want room, and then yeah, every other row. And then that half is yours, and this half is mine. And we might need another shed. Oh yeah. Because we could put our freaking The furnaces in there, whatever the fuck this thing was, I don't even remember. That's a... that's a charcoal Old. maker. Yeah. Let me get all this shit consolidated a bit. Melon wine, pumpkin juice.
Go on, let me. Fine. Fine, I won't pick the melons because I don't think they're quite ready yet. <laughs> oh god, now I can't see the brown chickens. First I couldn't see the green ducks. Did I pet the bunny already? Yes. Oh cool, another rabbit foot. I love that our rabbit just sheds feet. <laughs> yes, they just they just pop right off. <laughs> it's like a lizard with its tail. Is my milk there? Please hold on it. Sell this shit. This rabbit foot out of my pocket before I try to move another house. Not a house. Treasure chest. Oh, I should go give away this cave carrot. It's a truffle. Pick it up. New. No. You pick it up. <laughs> That's your job, um, not mine. I went the wrong way, anyways. Also, you need to move the. Uh... Yeah. I want to move the shed. I think moving stuff is free, though, so that's nice. Tungus, how are you doing? <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go give her this shit and then I'll try moving the buildings. Building. Yeah, everyone's relationship has improved dramatically. Oh yeah, I'm like at three hearts with everyone. Well, not everyone. The dwarf still hates me. Harvey hates me. Who the fuck is Sandy? Oh, that's the girl from the desert. Yeah. Cutscene with Marnie. Are we friends now? That means we can get her underwear! Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Miss Tender. Oh, never mind. It's the cave carrot thing. Kitty cat face. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. Emily. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. Okay, now give me your underwear. Alright, Emily, where are you? You found the lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Uh, Emily's probably in her house. Cutscene with Emily. Ooh. Oh yeah, you're gonna be getting a lot of those when you talk to people. She's sleeping. Wake her up. And in her dream, she's there's. Oh, I remember that cutscene. Forget weirdness. Yeah. Damn it, Lewis. Where are you? I got your fucking underwear. No one's in the bar. <laughs> and then I just step out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? To give you an apricorn. Suddenly rainbows. <laughs> running around town holding Mayor Lewis's underwear above my head. <laughs> That reminds me of something. Even the tiniest bell in sim. Alright.
What? Oh, I just winked out of existence. Never mind. I'm gone. <laughs> no, no, not again. I think that's part of the cutscene. Yeah, but no, I went back to the void. <laughs> oh. Dave, there's something special about Dave. Our destinies will intersect. Whatever you say, Emily. Emily! Emily? Damn it, Emily's not even in here. Was... Berg! I can now go into everyone's house. Yeah, pretty much. You can go into their bedrooms once you hit two stars. Wait, then that means I could have gone into everyone's house. Ugh! <laughs> Did you not know that? No! You could probably get Lewis's underwear already. I could have probably gotten it long ago. Yep. A train is passing through Stardew Valley. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I got cutscene again! <laughs> uh... Hi, Dave, just make it some popcorn. Oh, I want popcorn. Ah! <laughs> Is that you or the cutscene? The cutscene. That sound! You should have known that sound would remind me of war. Oh. Is that with the husband? Yes. Also a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. Who engages in trench warfare nowadays? It's all drones. Oh, but dear, popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Aww. Things have changed. Damn it. Oh god, it's nighttime now. Dang. Mahogany isn't hardwood. Can you say something to him? Say what something. the fuck off? I know you're hurting, but don't blame your wife. You're absolutely right, Dave. I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. It's PTSD. Is that what happened? Popcorn scared him? Yeah, I mean, dude fought in a war. The last thing I, w I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. Not fast enough to go into his room. Oh no! Oh well. Why is it night now? Because you spent so long in cutscenes. You wasted the whole day. Ugh, I kept getting cutscened! Yep. I was just trying to give this lady an apricorn. Apri an apricot. Apricot. <laughs> apricorn. What the hell is an apricorn? Wait, I think no. that's from Pokemon. I think you make Pokeballs out of apricorns. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I think that's what that's from. Anyway, yeah. Apricot. Fruit. Just wanted to give her one. <laughs> but I keep no. But I keep getting cutscened. Stop going into houses with people who are friends with you. I can't. Everyone's friends with Dave. <laughs> Dave is Dave is wonderful. He's so cool. Okay, uh... I never did find freaking Mayor Lewis to give him back his underwear. Yeah, well, I never found... What's-her-name to give her back the... The apricorn. Ap apricot! Ugh! <laughs> Fuck you, Pokemon! 
I haven't played <sighs> you in years. Nope. One day I'll buy more Pokemon, though. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Ugh, I don't even think I managed to... Yeah, so I'm gonna just keep getting cutscened. Probably. But we need to go to bed. Hold and on. also we need to put a light in the shed. I got one light in my house that I don't really need. I mean, I've got three in my house, so I think we can sacrifice one of mine. I got three as well, so I can sacrifice one of mine. Well, whichever. It doesn't matter. There we go. Also, I need to go into the mine to kill more bugs so I can get more bug meat, so I can make more bait, so I can get more fish to make more shishimi to give to more people. <sighs> Give them fl oh, you give them all your flowers already. Hurry, it's after midnight. I know. I had to run down south. Yes. There we go. Money! So much money. Nice. Wow. And that's the end of the episode. Mill and wine's worth quite a lot. So is pumpkin juice. Mead is 200 each. Pumpkin juice is 720 each. Melon wine, yeah. That's not even aged. And then your salmon berry jelly is 60 each. Yeah, but they only take a few days, and we got so many of them. Anyway. Yep. When we come back, Goodbye. I'll... Yeah, when we come back, I'll continue to get bombarded with cutscenes with people. But until <laughs> Probably. then... Probably. Bye. Bye.